Well, we're heading to the Minnesota Ontario border. But first, we got to get some coffee. You can never have enough coffee. I don't know. Should just get a 12 volt coffee maker for the truck. Yeah, could I get a small, uh, two small, two cream, one sweetener in each? Two small, one cream, two sweetener? Backwards, two cream. Two cream, one sweetener. Right on. <laughs> anything else? No, that's it. The Come opening on of up. rifle right season on. for deer and moose, so hunter orange is required now, even if you're grouse hunting, so put on our hunter orange. Legal shooting, and away we go. Hell? We'll take a quick walk in. I'll show you the falls, and then we'll get on our. Well, I figured way. I'd show you this before we get hunting. First thing in the morning, so the Pigeon River separates Ontario and Minnesota. Yeah, I'll make my way down a bit. There's a few places here where we've actually seen people walk across. It's just on the other side is the uh, Grand Portage State Park. There's trails that come all the way here on the U.S. side. Nice, first thing in the morning. Let's see if we can get some birds. I've been talking to a few guys at work that I used to work with and they've been out this way and it's pretty tough going for uh, chickens, but we'll see what we could come up with. Watch yourself. Dick. Smoke them. It's coming this way. Fox is coming right at us. What in the hell's the matter with him? Just stop, don't move. Yeah, but what, has he got brain damage? Walking toward a vehicle? <laughs> yeah. So we bought some bag of candy. Show her the bag. Just like a grab bag for a buck. Look what's in here. Chicken feet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You got him. Where's your gun here? Huh. Success. We just had a run of three or four that chased after and we couldn't get. It was like Real spooky today because of the wind.
North Fowl Lake. Half on the Minnesota side and half on the Canadian side. Windy. Some of you have been here before with us on some of our hunting adventures. Shown it to you before. Figure we'd take a drive in. Nobody around today. It's supposed to be nice. And then the weather turns for <laughs> lots of rain coming, but today's supposed to be a warm day. But this wind is cold, so what's it say? Help keep our border safe. Yeah, we seen the uh, Border Integrity Patrol out here. One of our trips. Pretty decent guys. Just out enjoying nature and doing their job. Almost sounds like a dream job, eh? Bugger. Seen him fly straight up and then straight down. He was walking up that hill. Yeah. Carter snake. What the hell? Is he alive? Yes. Was it bite? No. It is alive. What is it? Garter snake? Garter snake. They don't bite. Oh yeah, isn't that one pissed on you that time? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, he was just running in this thick ship. Whoa. Chunky. Cutting in this area. Way off in the distance, you could see North Fowl Lake. That connects to Moose Lake. All the waterways keep going, and that's your international border between uh, the U.S. and Canada, or more specifically, Minnesota and Ontario. Not a big one. He's running. Got him. 
This guy went right from one end of the road to the other and then into the bush. Cross right in front of us. He went to the other side, changed his mind and come to this side. You see him? I don't see him. Oh, you just got him. Hiding behind a tree. That's what they do. They run and then they go behind a tree. I got him just when he went. Just stuck his head out. Good. Not too bad. Let's stop and get a picture. Look at the size of that blade. What's that?